Once I drew a comic full of these giant farm girls. Hi, I'm Mark and this is Subliteral Network. I make art and comics and thanks for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe and to leave your feedback in the comments. Now, I post art daily five days a week on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and this is a roundup of that work in case you missed it with a little more description added. Uh, you can read my Una the Cave Bunny comics free at radiocomics.com and please visit my Patreon page if you'd like to support my work. All these links are in my description and bio and please watch till the end so you don't miss anything. I did a comic that uh, I never got published anywhere about a bunch of uh, like a giant sized women who kind of uh, they're part of a traveling uh, harvesting group and um, they had these adventures and they were like adult adventures uh, but I thought overall uh, this is one of the girls in it and they just came out so cute and fluffy uh, and I really sort of honed my technique of drawing uh, extra chunky women uh, on this strip plus I really took the time to try to bring up the quality uh, from kind of maybe what I normally do or what I was getting used to because I was getting in something of a rut so I said you know why don't you just try to spend a little time do uh, a little more um, thought well thought out composition and I ended up getting uh, something that really uh, made me happy to draw, which you don't always get, <laughs> uh, but uh, I did in this case. Pretty often I run across a piece of line work uh, by another artist that I want to color. And uh, this, as you probably recognize, is um, a Red Sonja uh, drawing by uh, the great Bruce Tim. And uh, you know, I found it online and it's of a high enough resolution that I can kind of pump it up a little bit and make uh, some nice line work out of it to color. Because as you can see, it's not really black. Uh, you can see a lot of the ink work in it, so it's not, I like to work on a more high contrast black and white piece of work. So uh, I processed it and this is the color sketch that I did, just something really rough in Procreate to show, uh, just to, to kind of get an idea of the approach I was gonna take with it. Um, I love the way the sketch came out. I like the lighting. I like the color. I like all the grays. Uh, so this is just the sketch. And at some point I'm going to uh, do a finish of this. These are two panels from a comic I did called uh, Crash Bunny, which, well, in which her uh, arch nemesis, uh, who I don't think I actually named, gets uh, caught and handcuffed. And uh, <laughs> it was funny because it was sort of a, it was, it was it was kind of a humorous uh, kind of funny comic strip and this uh the villain is uh she i had the story where she kind of committed crimes just so she could get beaten up uh cuffed and restrained by um the heroines that uh chased her around um so i thought it was a kind of a funny idea and and this is just uh, one instance in which she was beaten and cuffed uh, she's a weirdo, but you know it was sort of in the tradition of uh, a lot of the Batman uh, villains that they're all mentally ill and kind of kinky. So I just thought I'd go with that, and uh, this is the, the this is the result of that. This is a drawing I did of Una the Cave Bunny's uh, older sister, who, um, unlike Una, has kind of gone on. She set up with a mate and, and she started having like bunches and bunches of children and uh, she never, I wanted to establish this tradition that uh, she's always topless but there's always something in the way so you can see that at this point she has uh, her hair and a necklace hanging down uh, but I wanted to play a visual trick with her all throughout the, uh, the comic but uh, this drawing was done really uh, to help me kind of solidify the, the character but then what I ended up doing was to uh, uh, use the drawing to make one of the page breaks for the comic. So this page break is, um, I would make these to, uh, if I was behind a uh, deadline on the comic, I didn't want to have a blank page, so I would make something to put up there. Maybe it had a little information about a character, like it does here, um, a picture of her, and just 
kind of try to make a nice little piece to show instead of showing nothing at all. So, um, at, I don't know what happened. Something Anna, that's her name, uh, Una, and uh, this is her uh, older sister Anna, and she kind of somehow uh, got a little attention from the readers. Maybe it's because she was topless or something, but uh, okay, I guess that was it. But um, in that case, I planned on bringing her back and having her in the stories uh, and still pulling that visual trick of always hiding her top without actually dressing her. Uh, that's always uh, fun to do and it's funny. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it kind of keeps people hooked because they never know quite what they're going to see when. And uh, that's kind of part of the fun uh, for me of, of doing comics is keeping the reader hooked with stuff that's interesting but not like essential to the story but just kind of goofy and fun. I'd like to thank you my subscribers and especially my new subscribers. I'm very happy you enjoy hearing something more about the work that I'm doing and I hope the videos are entertaining and I really hope you can come back for more.